All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is War Train here. Do me a favor, if you're new, please subscribe and click that bell down below so you guys can get notified of every time I upload videos just like this one. But today's video, guys, we are going to talk about the Nintendo Direct coming tomorrow. That's right, a 40-minute presentation, uh, mostly about uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield and Luigi's Mansion 3, but we all know that's not going to be the whole presentation. Yeah, they'll take up a little bit of time covering some of that stuff because those are huge games. They're going to be coming out fairly soon in the next couple months, but I mean, there's so much other stuff I'm sure Nintendo is going to pack in, into this Nintendo Direct. We have the one-year subscription service um, anniversary for Nintendo's online, so what are they going to do? Are we going to get those Super Nintendo games? Something? Uh, I think a lot of people will leave the service if they don't put it, so I think Nintendo's kind of got no choice here, but we'll see what happens. I definitely hope they do it. I think they need to do it, and I'd like to see it. You know, I don't know if they're going to charge a little extra or what, but I think they have to do it. But um, check out the video if you didn't see it before. I have a top 10 games that need to come on the Nintendo Switch online, uh, online service, um, you know, for the subscription plan. Um, really, it's more like a top 20, but it was so hard to choose. But um, the, uh, the other 10 are, are kind of like, um, you know, uh, hopefuls or, uh, you know, honorable mentions. But in reality, it's like a top 20. Those games all need to come to the service. But uh, check out that video if you haven't seen it. Uh, there's some awesome games on there. And that's kind of like my list of games I'd love to see on Nintendo Switch. Any one of those, really, or all of them. That'd be even better yet. But uh, definitely don't see that happening. But we'll... we'll Hopefully we'll see some of those, um, but <laughs> but there's so many cool things I think Nintendo could drop. I mean, they may show a little bit more of a Link's Awakening. I mean, that game's about to drop the 20th with the Switch Lite, uh, so that's definitely cool. What I would love to see, and I know isn't going to happen, but I, hey, I could I could wish here um, is a Link's Awakening Switch Lite. I would change my pre-order right over to the the Link's Awakening version right away as soon well, as soon as I could do it anyway because uh, I have the turquoise blue one pre-ordered at GameStop so I would call them up be like hey man switch this for me please um, <laughs> as soon as you can um, they know I'm a big uh, Zelda fan so I think they may even do that automatically but <laughs> at this point but yeah, that would be awesome. Um, I know that ain't gonna happen, but hey, I could dream, right? And I'd love to see if we got another uh, teaser trailer for a Breath of the Wild 2, possibly. I really doubt it, but hey, you never know. I mean, stranger things are, have, ha have happened at these things. I mean, look, we got uh, Breath of the Wild 2 teaser, teaser trailer uh, at, at, at E3 before, so that, that was mind-blowing when that happened, so. You never know, we could uh, hear something about it. That would really be cool. And man, I would set the internet on fire. I mean, the last time, it went nuts when that happened. That was crazy. Um, just a little teaser of like 15 seconds can just send people crazy. So, <laughs> we'd love to see that. Don't know if it's going to happen, but that would be really cool. Um, Luigi's Mansion 3, they're probably going to go into some depth. That game looks awesome. Uh, that's a day one for me pickup. Uh, that game just looks great. It looks by far to be one of the best Luigi's Mansion games. It looks completely fleshed out, uh, way more than the other ones were, so definitely looking forward to that. Um, but the Pokemon Sword and Shield, a lot of crazy Pokemon fans. Um, I've been getting a lot more into Pokemon over the last couple years, um, especially with my kids. They love it. Um, <laughs> so. I, I do have uh, Sword and Shield, the du dual pack pre-ordered, but I kind of have a feeling I'm not going to be able to play it right away because I think they're going to be fighting over who gets what game to play right away. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. But if I had to choose right now, I'm going with Pokemon Shield is the game I would like to start on. I do like the way that the Shield character looks, but I mean, you know, either one, I'm sure that they're, they're both cool games. But yeah, what kind of stuff do you guys want to see at this Nintendo Direct? Are, are you excited? 40 minutes, so you know that there's going to be some stuff shadow dropping tomorrow. 
That's almost a guarantee. Nintendo loves to do this. They do this at almost every event that they have. So I'm definitely looking forward to see what comes out. Could it be Overwatch? Uh, we had a, a leak of an Overwatch Nintendo Switch hard case. So it could definitely be something like that because Nintendo pulled that hard case off of online because those pictures kind of got leaked out or, or somebody put it up by accident. But that Overwatch case got pulled, and, and they're definitely going to have Overwatch on Switch because they want to just make an Overwatch case. Uh, people wouldn't just make this for no reason, that's for sure. Because uh, it was nice and looked like it had some time put into it. So it looked like it was ready to sell. Something you'd see on the store shelf. So um, I believe that game's going to be announced tomorrow because we know that there's a big chunk of games that are going to be announced because GameStop has a a big list with you know uh, placeholder SKUs with no, no games for Switch so we know a bunch of those are going to finally get announced um, but like I said um, Overwatch probably almost definitely going to be one of them uh, probably um, Samurai Showdown is another game that's coming to Switch that we already know about so that's probably one of those SKUs but, you know, those are just some of the games. Plus, we're probably going to get an announcement on the next Smash Brothers uh, fighter character. It'll be the fourth one out of the fighter pass. A lot of people have uh, been pretty much spec you know, speculating, but there's a lot of credence to it being uh, an SNK fighter, uh, Terry Bogart. So, I believe it probably will, or uh, the character from... Um, Samurai Showdown. So, it's one of the characters, but uh, probably be Terry. Terry. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, I think that's. I think that'd be a cool character. Um, that, that's a, to me. That's a character that resonates because um, I've been, you know, seeing the whole rise and kind of dwindling down of uh, SNK, and they're still re pretty relevant. I mean, they still are putting out games on hardware, not to the extent that they used to, but. I mean, it's still around, but what do you guys think? What do you guys want to see in this 40-minute Nintendo Direct presentation? Uh, they always do an awesome job, uh, but let me know in the comments down below what games or what hardware do you want to see, um, or what kind of things do you think could pop up during this? I mean, you just don't know. Um, we get all kinds of just, you know, shadow drops from Nintendo. Just, you know, they just announce things whenever. But I believe there's going to be some stuff that we're not expecting. They always have that one last thing at the end. Uh, last time it was uh, Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think is, um, you know, could be shadow dropped. What things are you really looking forward to? Do you think we're going to get Super Nintendo games announced for the um, uh, Nintendo's online subscription service? But let me know what you guys think. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up, guys. But that's the video. I'm the War Train, and I'm out. Thanks for watching.